Agile is all about developing software, and really it's an umbrella term for a bunch of different ways of developing software. And what they all have in common is they are a reaction against the traditional way of developing software, which is known as waterfall. The problem with the waterfall model is that it's essentially the same model as is used for building buildings or cars or other tangible products. The model says you should sit down and write in great detail a plan for how you're going to build the product. And then once you've done that, the actual production process is really just about following the blueprint to the letter, like a production line for a car. The problem with that, the Agile proponents say, is that software simply isn't like cars or buildings. They're much more complex than that. So there's this great quote from a chap called James Glick who comments on software. And he says software is the most complex product that man's ever created. And it interacts with itself and with other products in ways that even the programs and the developers themselves have no way of predicting. The interesting thing about Agile for us is how you contract for Agile projects. And the challenge again for us is that existing software development contracts are very, very tied to the waterfall model. And as soon as you try and adapt them and use them for the agile model, suddenly all the structures in the contract don't really work. So we have to try and find a new way to contract for agile projects. The first thing we did was we wanted to understand agile properly, particularly how it works in practice and how it's different from the traditional waterfall model. We rapidly realised that just taking an existing contract and trying to tweak it wasn't going to work. So we started with a blank piece of paper. It's actually a good opportunity to say, well, what am I trying to do here? What does a software contract do? What makes it different? So we looked into that and we tried to focus very much on what the contract should do rather than what historically it has done, which is focusing on risks and what the party should do when everything's already gone wrong. And instead, we tried to focus more on stopping things going wrong in the first place. So a number of areas in our new contract model needed a very different approach to the standard waterfall approach, including testing, governance and termination. What we did there was to create some tailor-made solutions which reflect how Agile works in practice rather than just trying to use conventional contracting methods from the waterfall standard. One thing we focused very much on is making sure the contract allows the parties to have real-time visibility and control over the project rather than just relying on after-the-fact legal remedies. One of the key issues that we come on to a lot with Agile projects is about pricing. The traditional way of pricing software development is all about a fixed price, but the market has seen that it's very difficult at the outset of projects to come up with a fixed price that's accurate and so quite often throughout the course of the project that price ends up changing significantly and bears no resemblance to the original agreed price. The opposite approach is perhaps to try and do it through time and materials, but again then customers get very nervous that they have no control over the overall budget for the project. So what we at Bird and Bird have done is looked at other pricing models that are out there in the market and we've discussed with our clients and our contacts to try and understand what pricing models are being used in practice and how they are working. Well, the first thing we did once we had a contract that internally we were happy with is we decided to road test it with a few clients that we knew were working in the Agile area. And we literally sent it to them, got them to come in and pull it to pieces and then we put it back together and help use that process to improve the overall contract. Since then, we've actually been using it in some live projects and again, it's worked quite well and is solving a lot of the problems that people were having contracting for Agile projects.